Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, PC Wizard, um, probably one of the best programs out there um, to gather um, any kind of information um, from your computer, um, from any piece of hardware, um, basically to any specifications that you need uh, from your computer uh, or your tower. Uh, I believe it's just a Windows based program. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but I believe it's only for Windows. So basically, real quick, just to download it, easy, go to google.com, type in PC Wizard. This pops up your first link. Click on it, go down to version history, and click on the latest version, which is for now 2010.1.94 setup. Click on that, easy, download now and save it whatever you have Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, whatever um, you know open it save it um, so I already have it installed so I'm just gonna cancel this but like I said when it's done just go through the installation prompts um, and then basically you will be um, it'll direct you towards the main screen of PC Wizard which is uh, right here which is the system summary um, which is very I mean self-explanatory it's, it's it's the basic system summary of all of the hardware that is installed on your computer including the operating system um, so you have the uh, the processor what it is the speed uh, the memory um, all the hard drives so on mine I have four hard drives installed um, and it shows the size and for this one it shows the model number for other ones it'll just show you the manufacturer or Samsung or um, I think Western Digital um, and then the C or DVD ROM drive you have if you have more than one uh, it'll that one will pop up as well. Um, even the exact type of monitor that you have, the, the manufacturer and the model number with the size of the monitor, um, you know, the network cards that you're using or that are installed, uh, your operating system and the service pack, which is pretty cool, um, and the DirectX version. And like I said, this is just your basic um, summary of the entire uh, computer. So, and then these are all your little icons around here. So you got three, six, nine, twelve um, icons which show you um, give you a little bit more specific details um, on each um, individual um, the hardware on that's installed on your on your PC uh, so you know we'll, we'll check out you know the different kinds here so we got main board which is you know uh, what what the BIOS is um, your actual manufacturer which is right here which mine's a power spec it pops up gives me the actual model number of the power spec which is PS7501 um, even the version number, um, you know, a couple things, you know, sometimes don't pop up, you know, the, uh, with the stock keeping unit, um, and a couple things, but, um, but all in all, I mean, it shows you even the total memory you have and what kind of memory you have. So I have 3.5, uh, gigs of RAM that are DDR2, and then here it has, it shows you the four channels, um, that are installed, or that, you know are on the motherboard so you have four ports um, for the motherboard you know one port I have a one gig the second port another gig another third port another gig and the last port I have a 512 so 3.5 gigs of RAM obviously um, so you scroll down and it shows you each individual port and it tells you um, who the RAM is made by um, you know what kind of RAM it is um, and all kinds of other details that you could, you know, that you couldn't even imagine for the RAM. So there's the one, you know, it's made by. This is the first one, A Data Technology, and then all the other info. Another A Data Technology, another A Data, and then this one doesn't even pop up, but it does show you uh, a little bit more specifics about that um, specific RAM, and it says, you know how much RAM I could put into it so I could put up to 8 gigs of RAM in here I could get um, for this actual motherboard I could put in um, four 2 gigabyte RAM chips in here um, all DDR2 of course so the number of so it's four slots number of connectors four slots so um, pretty cool stuff um, you got the processor specifics about the processor if it's a how many cores are so I have two on this one um, you know what exactly uh, the processors uh, doing right now um, the cache levels uh, you know what the cores what the percentage of the cores are being used 52 percent on the one 23 percent on the other one um, this is um, the monitors that are hooked up to uh, the computer 
um, the type of video card that's installed. So I got an NVIDIA GeForce, um, which is installed, um, and a couple other things, and a little bit more specific. Um, you know, it was made in 2009. Um, so a lot, a lot of cool, maybe other little programs that are installed on the computer as well, things that are installed in the video card. Uh, it's your in and out ports. So just like your USB ports, um, pretty simple stuff, you know, your printer port uh, and other stuff. So, you know, what exactly they are. So you right here, this one says, uh, um, it's a USB port, but the Lexmark printer is plugged into that port. Um, this one has the, another USB port, um, and the, it shows you what type of mouse is plugged in, which is a Logitech, um, US, and the type of USB port it is, so it's 2.0. Um, yeah, and then a whole bunch of other cool stuff in here. Another port, which is the Dell uh, keyboard that I have plugged in. Uh, here's the drives. So this is the number of um, the controllers uh, we have on here. So, and then we have number of hard disks that are installed. Like I said, we had four earlier. Um, so these are just the hard drives that are installed. And as you look right here, it's the actual model serial number, um, the size, uh, same thing here, model serial number, um, again, and another one. So, and these are all just drives, DVD, ROM, uh, maybe the the memory card slots um, for that I have um, installed, which is basically um, a memory card that you can plug in from your camera. Um, or a video recorder or something like that. Uh, printers that are installed, that's the printer icon. Uh, what kind of printer you have and a um, little bit more intricate details in here as well. So pretty cool stuff. Um, your devices, so you know you have the mouse, keyboard, um, if you had a joystick plugged in, um, any kind of other um, controllers, um, you know, all kinds of stuff in here. So we have the type of mouse which is USB interface um, and just what it can do like a couple like just I mean simple things that you may not even need but are just cool to look at double click sp speed um, you know stuff like that so then you got the multimedia which is basically your, your sound card um, all the codecs and stuff like that that has installed what kind of um, uh, audio um, card that you do have the sound card uh, this is your network icon sometimes this one takes a little bit longer to load up um, but it'll it'll pop up and show you, um, you know, same thing, a little bit more specific things that were pretty general in the system summary uh, for any kind of um, hardware that's installed for uh, for your network. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, you know, what kind of card it is, a little bit more specifics, what you're actually connected to. So I'm connected to a Belkin. Um, things like that the MAC address of the um, of the actual card too which is uh, you know sometimes you know you either have to look at the card itself to get the MAC address or you have to go into a, a DOS prompt and and go through there um, the power status of the entire computer so basically I think what the output is on some of it uh, I think that's more in here though the voltage temperature and fans so yep right here what the what each fan you know how fast the rpms are um how hot the cores are um how hot the the video card is so um and how hot even the hard drives are are getting so um but a lot of a lot of cool stuff in here so you got the configuration in here you can see even more things in here um under the, under like i said you got the hardware and then you got the configuration so this is just your operating system summary of that um, this is the internet I and mean basically the internet explorer just a couple things on there uh, the control panel uh, options that you have I and mean, these are all things that you can find in windows by itself without using pc wizard but still cool to have in one window um, so processes and threads you got uh, library uh, dl's um, and then this next one right here, I believe, is the registry um, option. Um, so we'll see if you yeah, have the registry. I think that's MSN Explorer, fonts, uh, maybe uninstall info, DirectX version, 
Um, that looks like the activate windows keys um, and, and some other some other interesting stuff. But like I said, I mean, a lot of this you can still find on Windows by itself. Um, but this is cool because it's all in one window. Uh, you only need one program. You don't gotta go clicking all over the place. Everything's here. Um, so yeah, you got Microsoft applications, um, your fonts, updates and patches, uninstall, boot start applications. So this is um, these are things that actually start up uh, on your computer. So that it is actually showing you will start up when your computer starts up. So this is CTFmon. This is um, I believe this is this is some kind of Windows program. And then you got I got LimeWire starting up. I got my firewall Komodo starting up. Um, you know, different file extensions right there so these are everything all the file extensions that can be read uh, on your on your uh, operating system so and basically what they can be open with so WMV which is Windows Media Video um, is attached to Windows Media Player .exe which is just Windows Media uh, Player but it even tells you the type of file type right there so we do a WRI it's a write document and it's opened with WordPad, you know, just things like that. Um, uh, the, the DirectX version, uh, and you got, looks like you got your sound. Um, so you got the uh, ODBC data source. Um, so just your database files, uh, Excel files. Um, you know, just the extension names. Nothing, you know, what version they are. Nothing too complicated there. Um, and this is just passwords uh, that you can use. Or I think that you have available to you, maybe for each username. I haven't really played with this one too much, um, but that's something else that you can find in the uh, control, the control panel under uh, under system. So we got a little firewalls tell them making sure I have allowed access to here. So it's good old Komodo doing his job. So if it would take go a little bit faster, that would be nice too. But sorry about the hold up. So, like I said, that looks like security center where the mouse is over. A um, couple other things, sound, and just, it looks like calendar reminders. Just everything that you have available to you right then and there, uh, which is which is pretty cool. So, and I think this just froze up because the Komodo popped up. But let's uh, let's give it another second here.